Watson. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sam and today we're gonna be towing first time any towing done with 9812 valve. I always gotta remind people because I'm pretty proud of it. G56 six speed manual, I swapped it in there. And if you guys watched the last video, you know I put a BMW turnover ball gooseneck in the bed. That wasn't explained enough on the turnover aspect of it, but we gotta do some towing today. Uh, there was some people saying haul uh, Prime Tech or 80 or something, a uh, 20,000, 20,000 plus pound machine. That's a lot of weight for an actual 3,500, let alone a 21 year old 2,500 truck that just it has minor overloads. So I got something in store for you guys. You just got to wait to see it. But we're going to use the old trailer. For one, uh, it needs used. Two, you got to earn your keep. So you start off with the old school bad bird before we move up to diamond sea we'll get to that one another time but uh and i need that one for work tomorrow and probably by the time i get home tonight it'll be dark and i won't have time to unload this trailer and i would need this one to be unloaded no matter what happened tonight so i can haul with it tomorrow but let's get this thing hooked up i am excited i've always wanted to have a gooseneck in a second gen dodge i've done plenty of third gen and fourth gen stuff but this is bucket list I always, I always like the look of one of these trucks towing a big gooseneck, so let's knock that off the list, shall we? See how many times it takes me to get hooked up to this thing. Can't see anything over this toolbox. Can't even see really the freaking tailgate. So, oh boy. It's touching the overload on the back one. Got to keep in mind this trailer does um, face value is 8,500 pounds shipping weight. Throw some chains and binders and spare tire. She grows in weight pretty quickly. <laughs> I had a guy harping on me the other day with the video of Arthur's trailer. Because he didn't have this thing hooked to a remote location. You guys like to hook it down here because it's easy. But it does you no good if you hook it in the wrong spot. Got to hook it somewhere else in case this stuff breaks. This is last ditch effort. But we also got to uh, make sure uh, trailer brakes work. And I do need to remind everybody this is a CDL required load. Personal or not, the trailer weight rating on this thing is a touch heavy. So, we gotta make sure we got trailer brakes. That's pre trip stuff. Bummer, we got no trailer lights, no trailer brakes. I gotta take it down to the shop anyway. Grab the winch, we'll see if we can figure it out. Hopefully, it's not that big a deal. All right, boys, we got lucky. It was this little son of a gun. So I stole the one from my ABS, put it up there, 40 amper. I was gonna steal one out of the 95. They got the bigger ones, they're different. These are like, uh, I think what my third gen would have in it. And same thing with the grandmas, didn't have the right one. But trailer brakes work now and trailer lights work. So we got the whole shebang. Grab the winch, head on up to the uh, location where we're gonna get some parts or get a truck that's parts. I gave it away, Boone. Oh, mama. All right. Grab 
Dash Knight's not happy that I unplugged the uh, fuse for ABS, but I'd rather have brakes that stop me than ones that are trying to keep the brakes from skidding. Run through the gears a little bit for you. Sounds good. Roll a little bit of coal. Truck definitely knows that trailer is back there. 100%. Man, oh man. One thing, the main reason why I stopped driving 12 valves back in the day was the fact that you have to upgrade your valve springs on the exhaust side to have a exhaust brake that'll work decently. And that's one thing I just never plunged into. I got a common rail and got out of the 12 valve game. And man, I miss it, but I'm gonna say you gotta do a little bit of work to get a 12 valve to compete with a common rail the exhaust brake that is definitely one thing on the list right off the bat let's get some trailer brakes holy crap oh yep those work good <laughs> that texas pride's not afraid to stop this old 12 valve say that much but i'm not expecting this thing just to completely take charge of the towing and there's no way I'm gonna put a prime tech back there on this because I know how it feels towing it with a big rig and whoo it would squish this truck just this trailer alone is kind of squishing this rig the chick driving that GMC jacked up over there looks like a chick nope it's a chick well we'll find out she gets to go before me oh yeah get it girl all right come on give me the green This thing stops fueling because it's stock like it like falls flat on its face at like 2100 rpm <laughs> that's like when a common rail really starts to roll it on this thing's just old school freaking big rig torque all its powers nice and low like a diesel should be but it's weird after all these years of towing decent weight it's actually been three years since I got my CDL that was like two weeks ago three years and uh, I've, all I've towed with since then is with a common rail common rail put the whoop on this 12 valve guarantee it in this position oh I just put the whoop on it <laughs> anyway now oh, what's this oh a brand new 2019 how's it going fella that's like a kid driving that. I had to get that truck. I don't have gauges on this rig yet, and the truck is mildly modified. <laughs> I don't want to risk, you know, cooking a piston or something with EGT, so I just I had to drop her down to third. It seemed like fourth bogging it down. Pulled that hill at 25. It's like driving a Toyota. Empty. And I had a, my thermostat was seemed like it was sticking closed. I mean, sticking open, because the truck wasn't wanting to warm up. She warmed up now. She's right at uh, operating temp. As soon as it got up about a little over halfway, mm -hmm. it started going down faster than it would. Did you lift up? Was it just not on the beat? No, I think it's just cracked in the tire. Oh, I forgot it's bare, so. Well, the old girl made it. Only to pick up an old girl that's one year older than her. 
that had half the miles and came with a 12 valve as well and it had a five speed in it but somebody ran this one into a uh, uh i think a back of a dump truck i already harvested all the the guts out of this one but it still got some stuff and well it's on my uncle's property so i got to get rid of it i guess some point here <laughs> going back up truck to it hook the winch onto it i forgot to grab a spare tire put them all on that gray parts truck hey you want to buy a gray parts truck straight across trade no ah son of a gun anyway it's got two good differentials so that's worth driving up here to get it i guess is that a toyota that was a honda i don't know i don't care <laughs> i'll change the stickers on it want a pos <laughs> winch controllers in the other truck <laughs> well we're gonna have to hotwire it <laughs> you sure that you want that right there yeah it ain't come up. up there in front of the garage where the shovels and stuff are yeah there's a pair of jumper cables laying underground could you grab them we just yeah. I don't know what's goofier that we got baby goats running around or the fact that I forgot the winch controller because both my main trucks in my defense have winch controllers in each one of them because they're the only two that I've ever needed a winch for so we got to do a uh, is that off the <laughs> there you go we thought we fried it messing with it didn't know what we're doing we're certified safety third experts so Jumping it off there through a screwdriver. Hold up. Go over there and steer that uh, thing there, son. Yeah. Want a screwdriver to put in that hole? <laughs> Just want to. I took the ignition out of it because that was the only failure I ever had with my 96 is I busted the ignition. The earlier models had a crappy ignition. Um, they upgraded 97 and up, as far as I know. This one had a better one. Oh yeah, I stole the track bar off that thing too, so that thing will steer nice. Yeah. There's not left of, much left of that truck. Keep going, keep turning. Give him, bump it as he's turning. Flat tire, we got everything in our favor. Yeah, you're good, keep going. Ramp. That's far enough, Jess. Oh, yeah, we're shredding that tire. That's all right. It wasn't good enough to hold air. It's not good enough to reuse for anything. No. All right, turn to the right a little bit, or left, I mean. Better hurry. Come on. That's good. I was surprised that it had enough to get it up on there. All right, turn this way. You ought to see this tire over here, the freaking, the tread's ripped off of it. <laughs> all right, Jess, uh, hop down, put a scotch block in there, and then we'll reset this thing and run it all the way up. They got the little goats 
and they got the little horses. You guys might be thinking, what a piece of crap. Why are you bring that home? Yeah, it is a piece of crap. Also, I threw the straps over it because I don't remember harvesting the door latch stuff out of it, but I did. So there's nothing to latch the door, and then the camper shell is just sitting there. So camper shell is actually not bad. I don't know what happened to the windows. Somebody busted them out, but I rocked that camper shell on my old red truck back in the day. But next time, hopefully I will not forget the winch controller. Figured it out, but it's still a pain. So there she is, boys. Let's get back to the house. See how the sucker does going down the hill. <laughs> Glad those trailer brakes are good. In the old days, you'd probably come up that grade the second year. Yeah. Maybe first. Uh, towing that trailer, I came up it in third. Cause I don't have any gauges on it, so I didn't know what it was. Pyrometer, you know? Yeah. Appreciate you filming. Thanks for helping me load there, amigo. Emma, get back. See you in the morning up there at uh, O'Brien's. Or with 080. I'm gonna go see the movie tonight since you didn't invite me last night. See you guys, thank you. Ah, we're on the road, boom, we're on the road. I was telling dad, oh, he said, he's like, oh, back in the old days, you'd probably come up this grade right here in like second gear. He's probably talking 70s or maybe early 80s, I guess, when you're just running old gas V8 and just winding around. Or even a 12 valve, when they started putting these in trucks, they were doing pretty dang good. I'll say this, I'll do a video comparing this truck to a new truck. There's nothing really, in my opinion, beats a heart and soul out of a 12 valve. Or even old 7.3, people got a, you know, a good liking for those things, but Let's get some trailer brakes going here. But the new stuff, it just gets her done. <laughs> Without an exhaust brake, downshifting is kind of a joke. <laughs> it's just not, it's, I mean, it's holding back, but it's not doing much. I had a couple of these bigger hills. Trailer weighs 8,500, 9,000 pounds. That truck that's on there maybe weighs 3,500. No engine or transmission in it. Bone stock, that thing would weigh uh, about 6,500 pounds with an automatic in it. Bone stock completely empty, no driver in it. It's got a bunch of parts though. Glad I trust those trailer brakes. Getting her done. <laughs> I'm having fun. Taking her back, oh, revving her out. This tamer down a little bit. That was about 2,800 RPM on old 12 valve. Third gear coming down this hill. Hit the brakes. <laughs> I lost count. <laughs> no engine brakes. Sucks.
Well, <laughs> you guys can't see much. She got dark on us, boys. She got dark. There you go. You guys can see something now. Looks like the truck made it down here safe and sound. Didn't lose anything. Camper's still on. Door's still on. Hood's still on. Old 12 valve did a pretty good job today. BMW hitch. I mean, it, it was only pulling like 12,000 pounds, maybe. Didn't show any fatigue. Maybe 13,000 pounds. I liked it. Felt pretty comfortable towing down here. A little bit bigger than I probably should have went for the first test voyage with the truck, but again, this is my first time ever towing gooseneck with a second gen. 12 valve. If you guys didn't know, I had one that looked identical to this back in the day. I'll throw a photo up. Uh, trying to make this one pretty much look like it. And uh, it's, it's filling the gap. Filling the gap in my soul that I, I missed or lost when I sold my original one. But feels good to tow this. Definitely wouldn't recommend towing full time with a single wheel 2500. Even if you do have overloads. That truck, uh, it gets pushed around pretty good in the corners when you shift. And all the weight and all the load of the torque of the engine lets go a little bit when you push in the clutch. You can feel that trailer pushing on the truck and kind of, I don't know, it, you'd have to be in the truck with me, I guess, to really tell what it is. But keeping this truck around because it has the differentials are still good. Uh, grandma's truck has the same gear ratio. Tyler's truck has the same gear ratio. Keep those. Good solid door, windows, and all that stuff. It's just, it's worth more to keep. And this one's got the same airbags and the same overloads and all that good mess that I just actually deleted off that uh, truck over there. Gas tank, I mean, all kinds of good little parts. It's worth more to keep and it's still got a, uh, a pretty smog title. So we can have fun with that. Freaking California. I'm aiming for more 12 valves. Just to let you guys know, I have uh, been really pushing on 12 valves lately and Made two deals on two different trucks. I was supposed to pick one up today, I'll tell you that much. The guy didn't, he said, all good, see you Sunday. And he would text to confirm uh, Thursday. He did not. Friday night, I texted him to check. He didn't write back. So I didn't even bother. Piss on it. And then the other one, the guy lost the title, so he had to wait on it. So it'd be this, it would be a 96. It'd be exactly the same truck as this, but uh, not wrecked. So. Anyway, guys, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Hit them buttons for me. Like, comment, subscribe. And uh, I will tow a tractor or something with this thing. It does feel like it's capable, but we need to add some more power to it. That's all there is to it. She don't have enough juice. Not enough RPM, I would say. I know diesel's got that low-end torque, but this one ain't, ain't cutting it. It ain't got enough fuel. ain't got enough boost. And I think I might have a little bit of a boost. I can hear something kind of howling at me, but she's still pulled. Anyway, guys, later on... Hit them buttons like for this old 12 valve, 21 year old truck still getting her on the road. Kind of. Later.